Hi, this is Grace over the Monroe Ben Franklin. Today we're going to be making a resin geode wall hanging. Um, and these are all the supplies that you'll need. Your two part Envirotex resin over here is what we'll be using today. Um, this is the glitter from the Glitter Guy in the color Ice. Perlex powders and whatever colors that you want. You can also use acrylic paint if you want to have a cheaper option um, to color your resin. Um, we'll also be using an enamel um, gold paint, white paint, um, tacky glue, or any white glue of your choice. You can use hot glue as well. Um, a geode rock, and then a popsicle stick, stirring cup, and a paintbrush. Okay. All right, so we've painted our surface and prepped it. So we painted our surface white, and then we broke our geode up into little pieces, um, like so. So you can break them as small as you want, and then you just glue them onto your surface um, using tacky glue, or you can use hot glue. Um, and then we're gonna add a little bit of glitter into that center part of the geode. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little tacky glue down in there, and then I'm gonna use a paintbrush to kind of spread it around. And this is just gonna kind of give the illusion that there's more crystals there and then also a little bit of depth. All right, a little more in that corner. All right, it's okay if it's a little messy because the resin is gonna come over and cover a lot of that. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it in generously there and then we'll just shimmy it around a little bit and then dump out the excess. Like so. All right, while that is drying our tacky glue, we're gonna mix our resins together. So I've already pre-mixed our two-part epoxy resin and then separated them into four separate cups. And now we're gonna add our colors in. So first I'm gonna do our tester enamel paint in gold. And I'm just gonna add a little bit to that. And mix that up. And add a little bit more. I want it to be pretty opaque. Much better. All right, and then the next one we are going to do Perlex in the color Shimmer Violet. I'm going to use another popsicle stick just to pull out a little bit of that color. And again, I kind of want this to be pretty opaque. And you can use acrylic paint as well. We're just using the Pearl X because it adds this really nice um, shimmer to it, which I think will go well with getting it to look like a geode. And then next we're going to do Perlex in Reflex Violet. And then lastly, we are gonna do just white and we're gonna use just um, white Ceramco acrylic paint. go through and just give them all one last thorough mix. All right, and we're going to pull our surface in from before with our crystals. And then prop it up onto a cup because you will have spillage over the side. So we don't want to have that um, pool up at the bottom and have it stick to the our tray there. Alrighty, so I'm going to start with the gold. And I'm going to do the gold right around the edge of our crystals there, starting out. And 
I'm going to use the popsicle stick to kind of push it up onto those little edges there. All right. The next color I'm going to do is our reflex violet. I'm just going to pour in kind of like a circular motion around the geode center. I'm going to do the darker violet. And then I'm going to kind of just alternate until I hit the edges. And then lastly, we'll add in our white. And I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of the white. I'm trying not to be super heavy with it. All right. And then we're going to use our heat gun to kind of distribute and blend the colors a little bit. go back through and just add a little bit more of the gold too. And then again a little bit of heat gun to it. All right and then lastly I'm going to take my, some of my leftover colored resin and I'm going to go over the sides that got missed a little bit. All right, and then once you go and touch it up and get it just how you like, you're just going to let it sit here for 24 hours and let it completely harden and we'll have your finished product. All right, our resin geode has cured for 24 hours. So you can see all those really pretty colors in there. And now we're just going to re-screw back in this little eye hook there so we can hang it up on our wall. And there you have it.